Hello everybody, I'm Nathaniel Patterson of the Gentleman League and today I'm going to talk to you about how to tie a tie. Many of you have to wear a tie on a regular basis. If you're in a work environment, you always have to wear a tie to be professional. Some of us like to wear ties to be casual and overall I think that it's a great idea to always have a good tie handy and make sure that you know how to tie it. The Double Windsor was the tie that I learned how to tie first. I think that it's great for the body of the knot and great for the length as well as the dimple and the symmetry of the tie itself. So that's the one that we're going to discuss. You can take a look at the tie that I'm wearing right now. You can see the full body of the knot. It looks very good for this shirt and the collar that I'm wearing. Pay attention to the dimple. The dimple is a very important part of the tie. It draws the attention in. Uh, the dimple going inwards is an important aspect of the energy that you want people to pay attention to. And it actually gives the tie a nice allure with the shadow that it creates. I have a couple ties to show you. And you can take a look at my power tie. These ties were already tied, so you can take a look at what we have here. And you can notice the symmetry of the knot, as well as the symmetry of the dimple as it goes down. It's a little short. If I were to wear this right here, it would come right to my belly button. It might leave a little bit of uh, shirt below. But honestly, sometimes I think that that's a great position for my ties. I'm already very tall as it is. But for some of us who like to wear longer ties, this one is a longer tie in and of itself. It's uh, one of my favorite ties. This is a single Windsor here. And you can still see the symmetry of the knot and the dimple. And you can see that it's a lot longer than the other tie that I was wearing. Or uh, showed you, excuse me. And even though it comes further down, it's still longer on the short side. So this one is one that's a little bit more tricky to wear. Uh, it's a designer tie. So honestly, this one would not be the first purchase that I would suggest. So what I'm going to do now is show you how to tie the tie that I'm wearing right now. Hey guys, I'm back. And here we're going to show you how to tie the knot that we discussed and it's going to look like the ones that I showed you earlier in the video. The collar of my shirt is unbuttoned and the reason why is because I like to put the tie into the uh, collar. Pull it all the way until it's at the very top of the shirt. If I turn around and show you, you'll notice so I'm going to go ahead and button the collar. And now I'm going to pull down the narrow side to about the second or third, not counting the collar button. We're going to pull the uh, broad side over the top of the tie, of the narrow side. And I'm going to pinch that side or that intersection. And then I'm going to take the broad side and I'm going to pull it under and over that intersection. If you can notice my thumb is covered by that intersection in the back and my index finger is covered by the broad section on the front and that's exactly what I want it and then make sure that it's good and tight. Because my narrow side started out on this collar I'm bringing the broad side up and I'm pulling it back over to the side where the broad side started. So in this case, it's on my right, so I'm going to pull the uh, broad side to the right side of the tie. And if you notice, we're starting to get a nice little triangle here, which is important because you always want to have a nice little triangle when you start out. That's how you make sure that you're building on a good knot. And I'm pulling that broad side around that right side to the left side, and I'm going to stop right here to let you see what I'm doing. I'm going to pull that broad side that's on the left side now over and under the tie intersection that I had which is becoming a knot. And you can see I'm starting to build on that triangle a little bit more. It's becoming to be a little bit more heart shaped. And one thing I started noticing as I was tying a lot of ties is that the narrow side has its own dimple at this point also, which is a good feeling for me because it's also going to show that I'm right on the right track to having a dimple in my 
broad side, which is the side that shows the underside of the tie where the seam is, is facing out. And this is where we want to be at this step because what I'm doing right now is going to wrap that around and that's going to form the outside of my knot. And I have not pulled it where I want to pull it yet, but I'm going to show you that that knot or that triangle is still very well intact. And all that I did was I pulled the side that was coming from the broad side on the other side. I just pulled it around the front. And now I'm going to go under, well behind, and over one more time. Now I have the necktie broadside showing right here. This is also where I like to pull the tie up to my neck and check out the length of the tie. You always want to look in the mirror, make sure that you are right on track with what you are doing because once you pull your knot up to your collar, you want it to feel good. So you want to pull it all the way up to your collar now and see where it goes. This one is covering my uh, belt buckle, which is good because it still may be a little bit shorter and that's actually how I want it to look. So all we have to do now that we're at this step, you're, you're home free. If you got it to this step, you're great. Because all you're doing is you're going to grab the pointy side of the broad and you see the knot that we created here, nice triangle, dimple right here. You're going to stick it through the pocket you created when you wrapped it around the, on the uh, second to last step I showed you. This is an important stage because this is the shaping stage which is also where you are forming your dimple. So you're taking your two index fingers right below your uh, knot. As you pull the shirt tie or the necktie through the knot, you're going to just pull it with your two index fingers as you pinch the two sides together and it's going to form its own dimple. You can see it. Nice and neat, but just good enough to get me where I want to be. So you can see this dimple is very strong right now. As I pull it up to the uh, shirt collar, I'm grabbing this narrow end and the knot at the base of the knot where it forms the dimple. I don't want to lose my dimple and I don't want to lose the shape of my knot. So I'm going to hold it right here where the uh, knot ends and this side and we're just going to pull all the way up to the collar until we have our nice shape tie so there we have it guys that was a double windsor so guys thanks for tuning in and don't forget to check me out at the gentleman league you can find me at thegentlemanleague.com you can find us on youtube facebook twitter pinterest you'll be able to find blogs articles how to's and even more tips on how to step out of the bush league to get into the gentleman league. Once again, I would like to thank you guys for tuning in to my how to tie a tie video. I hope it helped.